Hey guys, I'm actually very excited because I wanted to show you this really cool new wireless microphone system, uh, which is actually the world's smallest wireless uh, lav system. Uh, and I also think it's the easiest to set up. So uh, what I got here with me is Pico Gear. I've never heard this brand until basically I got this for myself. Uh, and it's actually 1 a.m. right now, if you can believe it. I'm tired as hell. Uh, I've been basically playing around with this all day. And it just got me so excited that I thought I would do this video to kind of let you guys know sort of my fresh thoughts, everything that's in my head, uh, after having a chance to play with this for, for one day. So basically what this is, is it's uh, it's like a very simple to set up uh, and very small, uh, you know, laugh system, wireless laugh, laugh system that it's going to... Uh, allow you to get good audio for especially good if you're gonna do like interviews and that kind of stuff because it's a dual uh, microphone system everything actually fits in this cool little case that they give you uh, it's a hard case kind of like a hard shell that's padded on the inside and then you open it and as you can see you got the the mi microphone basically here it's the receivers and the transmitters are there they give you a little uh, a cold shoe mount you can use this to mount it on top of your camera and then you got two cables, um, or actually is it two cables? Yeah, two cables. So one is just a kind of a three, point, three and a half millimeter audio cable, and then you get your, uh, the USB charging cable. And now a quick message from our sponsor. Skillshare is a website that I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy if you like my tutorials, my uh, hair gear reviews and, and filmmaking videos. Basically, if you're an artist, you're gonna find a lot of cool stuff on Skillshare. As you can see here, there's a lot of recommendations that Skillshare always pops up on my front page based on my interests. Uh, you can join different workshops. They have also recommended lists like videography, fundamentals, graphics design, you know, how to master your DSLR camera, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, here's a cool course, Cinematography Basics, Understanding Filmmaking Style, uh, with a lot of really good info about uh, cinematography. Uh, there is also another here interesting course about sound design. And so if you're interested in not just recording good quality sound for your videos, but also knowing how to master mix it afterwards, uh, this is definitely one of the, the videos you guys should check out on Skillshare. In case you didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators and they have more than 25,000 classes in design, business and a whole bunch of other uh, categories. And it's actually very affordable. If you guys get the annual subscription, it comes out to less than $10 a month. So if you guys are interested, then just follow the link in the description of my video so you can get the, the first two months free of Skillshare Premium. This is how big <laughs> the transmitters are on this thing. There's actually two of them. So you basically get uh, you get two of these up here that, that are kind of, they kind of have like a docking station that they go here. Uh, so when you're not using them, you just kind of clip them in there and that turns off the whole system. So you're not wasting batteries and things like that. Uh, and you can actually use this uh, to charge the, the transmitters and the receiver. Uh, and that's because you have a micro USB here connection. Uh, you plug this in and that charges everything for you uh, with one cable. So that, that's pretty cool. Let me actually set this up. I'll kind of show you. Uh, how I did these tests today when I was kind of you know playing around with this. So I was uh, recording everything on the Sony A6500. Uh, I you know put the cold shoe mount here, and then I would take the re uh, receiver here and just attach it like that. So once you've got this mounted here on top, um, like I said, you you just grab the microphones from this kind of cradle. They're actually magnetic, so which is really cool, meaning. When you're not using it, and let's say you're kind of running around with the camera, setting it up for a new angle, you don't have to worry that these things will fall out because they'll actually stick to this. Uh, but once you start, you know, ready basically to roll, you would just pick these up. This bigger part here, you can see, which is still actually very small, that's the transmitter. Um, so there's, you know, there's not much really there to think because there are no buttons or any kind of settings that you can do up here because everything is actually controlled through the receiver. Uh, and then this little clip, as you can see here, uh, that little clip is the actual, um, has the actual microphone built in. And what's cool is that it's a digital microphone. It's actually a 24-bit, uh, 48 kilohertz digital microphone that's built in. And basically, once you put it on, like let's say you can clip it into your Talents shirt here. And once you have it clipped on, as you can see, uh, really, you know, the whole transmitter is going to be hidden behind the shirt. And then it just looks like a tiny little clip kind of there. So it actually looks smaller than 
uh, pretty much any other kind of a you know wireless lavalier microphone system on the market because those ones just the clip itself is going to be the same size plus then you have a microphone attached to it whereas here uh, that's all you really see sticking out so that's pretty cool T turn on your receiver and that's it you're done pretty much setting it up i mean you know uh, you do want to probably plug this in so uh, they do provide you with a, a cable like i said three and a half millimeter cable and this is the trrs cable so it's actually going to work with you know like a point and shoot dslr cameras whatever any cameras that have three and a half millimeter jack on there uh for microphones it's going to work with cell phones which is cool it's going to work if you want to plug this into your laptop for example or if you have like an external audio recorder or something you can obviously plug it to that so that's the cool thing about this is that it's going to work pretty much in any recording scenario you're going to have uh, i'm going to turn on the camera here uh, and then yeah and basically you start feeding the signal and it actually has a really nice digital display here uh, and you can see uh, basically all the information about all the different microphones it shows you your battery life on uh, both you know the receiver but all the the two transmitters what signal you're getting and things like that your headphone volume uh, you know all, all your other kind of settings that you, you can adjust in there within the system for the tests that I did outside that I'm going to show you right now uh, I used just basically the default settings that the system uh, came with and then I just adjusted my audio levels like independently in the camera. Anyways, as you can see, I got both mics on. I'm going to walk away from the camera and do a range test, uh, see how well it sounds. So I'm right now uh, about 100 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds. And uh, yeah, again, both mics are right here. And walk away further now i'm curious to see whether it cuts out when i'm facing basically with my back towards the camera because now the audio basically signal has to go through my body so that can always cause interference all right now i'm at 200 feet away this is how it sounds at 200 feet away on the on the microphone system here all right so now i'm at uh, 300 feet away there's a car approaching so i'm gonna step away and go further and I'm um, at 400 feet away. This is how it sounds at 400 feet away. There's a bit of your background noise. We got some cars passing, so this is how it sounds anyways. Here I am. And this is 500 feet away. Pretty much open line of sight here, except, uh, you know, there's a lot of metal objects, cars and things like that. Anyways, this is how it sounds 500 feet away. And to be honest, I don't feel like walking further back, so... <laughs> And I'm back at 300 feet and uh, I'm kind of also going to be curious to see how well it sounds because there is a light kind of a, it's not a strong wind, but there's kind of a breeze and I can feel it here and I'm hitting. So I'm wondering whether the mic, the, the mic noise reduction, uh, you know, just basically how well it works because these don't have any kind of padding or any kind of, you know, wind basically cushion on it. So like those little foam pads. All right, so now I want to test out how this works in the wind. And of course, the wind has died. So uh, well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow some air on this. So this will be kind of a equivalent, like a light breeze. Uh, and I'm blowing straight onto the microphone. And now I'm going to do it stronger. All right. Um, the cool thing about this little microphone is that it's, like I said, it's pretty much the same size of like a standard lavalier microphone. So you can use any of these lavalier uh, windscreens or dead mouse, what they, uh, as they're called. All right, and now let's see how it sounds with the little windscreen on there. So again, I'm going to blow on it. And I'm going to do it really strong. And by the way, I was, you know, recording right now uh, with uh, without the noise reduction setting uh, on the on the microphones. Uh, and as you can see, this is how it sounds. The cool thing is, you can still clip it, and then it looks pretty much the same as you it would look with any standard lavalier microphone that has the the dead the dead mouse on it. Um, just clips on there, and that's how it looks. All right, so now I'll do the indoor test. So I'm going to walk inside and the distance is not going to be more than 30 feet, but I'll be walking behind more and more uh, walls. Most of them are concrete walls. Anyways, I'm going to narrate so you guys know what's happening. 
Uh, and right now only got one microphone on there uh, without the uh, noise reduction on, so you can kind of hear what the quality sounds like uh, with its sort of neutral settings. So I'm behind one wall, one concrete wall. This is how it sounds. Uh, and I'm gonna walk even further. And this is me now behind two concrete walls. This is how it sounds, sounds behind two concrete walls. I'm gonna walk even further now. All right, and now I'm uh, behind two concrete walls and one drywall, uh, and it's uh, again around 30 feet away from the camera. And I'm gonna start heading back now. And I'm here behind the door. So hopefully these tests give you guys a good idea of what you can expect from this uh, wireless microphone system, how it performs open line of sight behind several walls, and also how it handles the wind. And when you look at the display up here, uh, when the system is on, you'll notice that uh, you know, like I said, aside from all the information about the signal and, and the, the volume and all that stuff, you, uh, you also see that the two microphones are color-coded. So microphone one is blue, microphone two is red. And if you're ever wondering which microphone basically is, uh, is the one that you're holding, then you have, uh, again, it's very easy because you have a little light here. So this little LED light on this one is blue, so you know that's the first one. Uh, and the other one is red, so that's the second mic. And if I, for example, put it back here in its cradle, You'll notice it right away on the display, it shows me that that microphone is you know, basically back in a cradle, so it turns it off, it doesn't waste its battery, um, and it basically allows you to use it for a longer period of time. So this is great in case you, like I said, you're just going to use one microphone uh, at a time. Um, now the battery life in this system is actually very good. Uh, it's rated at 20 hours. Throughout my tests today, I pretty much had this thing on the whole time. I think it was, uh, I'm going to guess and say it was around maybe 12, 13 hours that this was on. And again, I had no problems. And then also the great thing is that this thing recharges really fast. It recharges using, like I said, the micro USB connection here. That's maybe the only, I would say, the negative thing that I found about this. Oh, I mean, not so much a negative, or maybe if they ever do a version 2, I wish they would improve it. It's a micro USB is okay, but I wish this was USB-C connection now. Uh, because, you know, most of my phones right now and, and uh, you know, laptops and all that stuff use that connection. So I have plenty of those plugs and I'm always like still struggling when I, I got to find my old USB uh, or micro USB cables. Now, they do give you the cable, but like I said, it's if I lose it or let's say I'm on location or something, I know that I always have a USB-C cable. So uh, it would be nice if they actually did it uh, that way. Uh, another, another thing you'll find here is uh, the headphone connection, so you can monitor the audio. So if you're working with like the Sony A6500, which unfortunately doesn't have headphones, you know, uh, connections, you can still this way monitor the audio uh, as it's coming in. As far as the settings here, uh, you can change the, like I said, output gain. Uh, you can change the, uh, the output mode. So I had it just set to auto, but if you wanted to, you can manually just change it from TRS to TRRS. Uh, and that's that's going to be good if uh, like, again if you have you know using different devices that you're going to be plugging into. Uh, you can also change actually the way that it outputs the audio. So uh, you can change it so that like I said in the left channel you can have you know microphone one or microphone two, and you can choose which microphone. And then in the right channel you have the other microphones. Or for example you can mix it. So like let's say you want to be able to hear both of the microphones in both left and right. Uh, audio track then you can actually do that here so you can uh, adjust basically what the left and the right audio channels are actually recording now in case i forgot to mention the system is rated to be up to 150 meters which is uh, almost 500 feet and as you saw from my long range test i mean it you definitely are gonna get uh the signal We're still working at uh, 500 feet uh, but that's only an open line of sight which is to be expected uh, we have interference and things like that it's going to be substantially cut down and my basically like further testing i just saw that like around like to 200 feet you can expect to you know even with like a wall or some obstacle in between you can still expect to get the signal but like past like 250 feet you, you're really going to start cutting out the signal if there's again if, if it's not open line of sight but you know overall i'm very excited i'm really happy that i got this i'm definitely going to be using this from now on whenever i'm doing you know like i said quickly or interview setups or things like that because it's just so easy to to set up you don't have to like what i like about this is that you again you can control everything through the the receiver but also the microphones 
you know, they don't have like, I don't have to feed a wire through my talent and then put the transmitter somewhere else and a microphone here and all these things they have to worry about. I just clip this on there and that's it, it's done. Like it's so quick, so easy. I wish, all, you know, all of my other, you know, wireless microphone systems were that easy to use. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, the audio quality I'm happy with for, for like interviews and the kind of, you know, TV kind of stuff. Uh, for feature films, I'm mean, gonna still would have to do kind of more testing. Now, my kind of I would say is sort of the biggest worry of using this on a on a film uh, would be the fact that once you conceal it, right? Because when you clip it like this for TV and you have the microphone here on the outside, then it's great. But once I were to put this, you know, let's say inside the the actor's shirt or something. And if this starts basically rubbing against the clothes, then I, I think you're definitely going to hear that microphone basically, you know, kind of touching the, the clothing. So uh, it doesn't mean that you can't use it. I just have to do further testing. So anyways, I was excited. I wanted to show you guys this new system, Pico Stream, I guess, or Pico Gear. I don't know exactly which one's the brand or which one's the, the name of this. But anyways, I'm going to post up the link for where, you, where I got this so uh, you guys can get it too if you're interested. Um, and like I said, really really cool i think in an innovative little system and i'm happy to see that there's now more and more of these companies thinking about making these very simple very you know to use a very tiny uh wireless uh, you know microphone system so uh, anyways check check back with me in the future if you want to see updates about this or if you want to see more information as always go to my website tomantasfilms.com and while you're there subscribe to my newsletter and that way you guys will be notified whenever i upload a new video or, or do a new post on my website Anyways, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.